Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons with Poached Salmon. It's really nice. Hello, in this video I'll be showing you a technique for poaching salmon. I don't think you could possibly get wrong. It's really, really gorgeous. It shows the best of this beautiful ingredient with some simple aromatic vegetables and I know you're gonna really like this video. Okay, we're poaching and it's deep poaching so it'll be fully submerged, so we need liquid. Most of it is gonna be just plain old tap water but there's some wine and some wine vinegar and an aromatics got a selection of little spices there so the full recipe will be in the description so you'll see what i used but you know you don't have to use exactly the same stuff some herbs bay parsley and dill dill's lovely with fish and some white onion just quickly peel that and uh, hack it up these veg don't have to be all neatly done it doesn't really matter it's just for flavor in the poaching liquor because a court of bouillon is basically a poaching liquor there we go got some onion we had some fennel in there some garlic they'll just give that a little bit of a crush like so and we're looking good there goes the fennel just slice that up and uh, let's get this on the stove let's bring this up to a boil and some salt and, and basically we're trying to create this really really flavoursome poaching liquor which I'm checking now is it a flavoursome poaching liquor yes it is too many bubbles turn the heat down as low as it will go still too many bubbles we don't want any bubbles we just want it to be steaming at this part so that's perfect so pop your salmon fillets in like so give them a dunk and two minutes all right this is the technique I really like, So, and I just decided I want them to be completely submerged, so I'm sort of lifting up some of the veg, putting it on top so it keeps it under, completely under. So the two minutes is up, turn off the heat completely, pop a lid on, and then it's going to take, you know, I don't know, it might take 15 to 20 minutes or so, but we're going to check with a thermometer. But uh, let's have a little smell, mmm, nice. And anyway, I'm going to have a little word with you. So while that's cooling down, this is where you can help me by liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, uh, bell icon, all of these things to help this channel to grow. And I'll be really, really happy and grateful to you. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you very, very much for your interaction. It's really appreciated. So in the thickest part is a good idea to get your temperature. I was happy with that, 57 C. That's gonna be something like 150 Fahrenheit but at the end I'll, uh, I'll explain those temperatures for you so some salad while it's just it's just cooling off a little bit I like it to be warm it's my favorite sort of temperature to eat poached salmon so while that's cooling down a bit get some salad ready I love ripe avocado when it's just right you can't get it's nothing better is there so nice bit of salad arranged that's the last recipe I did, which was the green bean salad, you can check that out on my channel. That's a really nice. And look how satisfying that is, how easy it is just to peel off that skin. So leaving the skin on it is very helpful because it stops it from breaking apart while it's poaching. And uh, and it's dead easy to come off. And then what I was doing there, the sort of grey bits, that's the blood. So I did. It's just unsightly. There's nothing wrong with it. You do not have to sort of scrape that off. But that's just, it's a nice little touch. And just try to be really delicate here and, and encourage these petals, these flakes. Would you mind just separating so it can look lovely on top of this salad? Well, thank you. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't think I ever win prizes for my presentation, but I think it looks nice. Just some flakes of that beautiful poached salmon on top of this salad. Season it up a little bit. Some salt and pepper. We're going to put some dill leaves on top because that will look nice in the photo for the thumbnail. Bit of squeeze of lemon. And, it, I mean, yeah. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Poached salmon. Anyway, I'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting. Right, there we go. Poached salmon. A very simple method. Um, it's it's a, Because it's cooking so slowly because the temperature's off, it's much... Uh, it's, it's less difficult to completely overcook it. And also, it stays really, really tender because it doesn't toughen up. Um, 
Also, it doesn't get all the white spots all over it, which is the fat which comes out of it. That's omega-3, that's good fat. You want that in there. So that's the super healthy stuff. So all in all, I think this is my definitely my preferred way of uh, poaching salmon. And it's equally nice cold as it is warm. So um, there you go. I would just say, uh, give that a go. Temperature wise, if you want to be checking the temperature, um, Celsius, somewhere between 50 and 60. Obviously 50 is gonna be a lot more like sort of medium rare. You will actually have some sort of darker pink color in the middle. And that would be that range in Fahrenheit would be something like 122 to 145. So wherever you wanna go with that is absolutely fine. Anyway, thank you very much for all the liking and commenting and the subscribing and all that stuff. I really appreciate you doing that. And I'll catch you in the next video coming really soon. Bye then. Oh. Mm.